Hey guys, it's Laurie hey. and Mark. Laurie and Mark with Gables on the Go. And uh, we've got something really cool for you today. We've got a great opportunity. Um, Barbara McKee at Coldwell Banker here in town, uh, Schmidt Realty, gave us the opportunity to go visit some of their rental properties here in Marathon. And we wanted to take you guys along with us and uh, show you the houses, show you the value of the homes, what they uh, rent for for vacation rentals. And uh, we're gonna take you through uh, several different properties down here. So hang with us and uh, we'll go take a look at the vacation homes here in Marathon, Florida. All right, guys, we're at our next unit. But before I show you this, just want to let you know, we're going to do a wide variety of houses in this. I think we've got, I don't know, I didn't count them, nine or ten properties. And I'm going to, we're going to show you all of those. We're going to try to keep them fairly short and to the point. Our goal with this video is really not uh, to advertise the vacation rental itself and, you know, help Barbara try to get these things rented, although I'm hoping it does that for her. Um, our goal for you is to show you the difference in the houses down here, what you get for the money on your vacation, the amenities, the things you need to pay attention to and know before you come. So our goal on this uh, really is to try to give you as much information as we can on things we've learned through renting houses like this over the years. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's take a look at our next house. So this house we are at now is a two bedroom, two bath. Um, it's 1250 a week, so it's part of a duplex, as you can see next door. Um, so a little bit uh, more tight quarters, but they do have a little privacy block here with the palms and your table outside, some lounge chairs. And let's go look at the dock. So we have a concrete sidewalk, concrete fish cleaning table, wooden dock. I would say you could park what size boat there? Uh, you could get a 30 footer in there. 30 footer there, the ladder to, in case you fall in. Hopefully you don't. Um, looks like you could fit, you know, two, three cars in here. Probably two is all they'd want you to have in here unless you had company. So the guest capacity is four people. Four people. So you can only have four people here staying here. Has a cozy living room open to your outdoor space. Open kitchen area with a little breakfast bar. Um, nice countertops, really nice cabinets. A little dining eating table, refrigerator over here. Hang on a sec. I'm gonna get a little hanging around shot here. You have an entry door here as well as in the back bedroom. So, you know, that's safe in case you need to have a fire escape. They have a, a linen closet here. We'll have to see if they have a washer and dryer, I'm not sure. So you do have two bedrooms in here. I mean, two beds, and there's another bedroom. Yeah. But it's only four people. Four people occupancy mm -hmm. on it, so, you, you know, you can only technically by law sleep four. And Barbara will get you if you have more people. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, this is a good, good example of, of a relatively inexpensive. You're looking at what was it, babe? Twelve. Twelve fifty. Twelve fifty a week. Uh, it's a small little unit. It is a duplex, but you are on the water. This would be a perfect spot. Uh, maybe for a couple, two couples to come down, bring your boat. You got easy access right out of Key Colony, right to, um, right out to the ocean. Uh, you can go Bayside or Oceanside from here, piece of cake. And at $1,250 a week, it's clean, it's nice, it's a, it's a pretty little place. Um, you know, you have the amenities that you need, and it doesn't cost you a fortune to stay here. Really nice little spot. I've personally, uh, before Laurie and I were married, I, I actually came down here with some of my fishing buddies several times, and we would rent a place basically like this one. A couple bedrooms, as long as we had access to bring our boat in, it worked for us and easy access to the water. So there's some things to consider. One of the other things we always, I always check on because when I come here, well now I live here, but when I used to come here on vacation, one of our biggest issues was everything centered around fishing. So you got to keep that kind of stuff in mind if you're a fisherman and you're bringing a boat, you need to know, do they have a bait freezer? Where are you going to keep your bait? Where are you going to freeze your fish? Um, and do the owners of the places you stay in a favor, don't keep your bait in their freezers in their kitchen. 
that's a no-no. Call me, I'll rent you a cooler. <laughs> but uh, check and see if they, uh, if they have bait freezers, and most units do, but check on that before you come. So I'm standing out in front of the house now, and uh, it is a duplex, as you can see, so there's the other half over there. And so basically, you get everything on this half, and I uh, looked up the Zillow estimate on this house right now, and it was, uh, at the time of the video, was valued at $515,000 for just this side of the duplex if it were for sale, which it's not. But, and I do find that Zillow estimates tend to run a little bit high. It's on the higher end. Um, you know, I don't know exactly what this home would sell for down here, but my guess would be probably closer to the maybe 400, 450 mark, something like that. So anyway, those are just estimates, but I'm trying to give you some idea of what the houses cost if you wanted to buy a house here and then use it as a vacation rental, uh, because from what I understand, it's a pretty, uh, pretty lucrative thing to own a house down here and rent it out. They stay rented quite a bit. All right, guys, we're at our next house. We are still in Key Colony Beach, uh, and it is a beautiful area. If you have a look around here, the homes here, um, beautiful house right across the street from this one. This one uh, is an exceptionally beautiful unit as well. Laurie's going up to get things unlocked for us. We'll go up and I'll just give you a look around here real quick outside. And again guys, our um, our point with these videos is, is not to show the house so we're not going through all the details. We just want to give you an idea of what you can expect for the money. Uh, down here in Marathon if you come down here on vacation and rent one of these homes this this has a beautiful uh, little courtyard here next to the house Beautifully landscape Right on the water Pool in the back. We'll go back there and take a look at that in a second, but this is a beautiful yard It is a beautiful yard this is beautiful. And a lot of places have little smaller pools, which is fine because you do a lot of swimming in the ocean. These are really just for sitting around, relaxing, um, you know, after dinner or playing during the day for the kids. Just something small that you can get wet and enjoy. And they have it really nice with the um, trees blocking the Yeah, this is really nicely done. This is a really, really pretty place. Mm. And let's see their fish cleaning table and their dockage. Okay, I guess we're at low tide. Yeah, the tide's right down now. quite a bit. So this dock uh, is, is gorgeous. It's finished off nice. Everything, uh, the dock edge is perfect. I would say probably get a 25 to 30 foot boat there, no problem. It looks like it's at least four feet deep. So it's, it's plenty deep enough for most uh, boats in that size range. And um, this house, outdoor space at this house is really just nice. Let's go take a look at the inside. A lot of your houses here in the Florida Keys are what I call stilt homes, but they're built up on pillars. And you can see behind me, this whole house is built up on uh, high rises like that on pillars. And the reason for that is uh, during a hurricane or a really bad storm, sometimes the water can come up and get above the ground level and get under the houses. And you know, ground level has, houses will have a tendency to flood. So a lot of these uh, houses that you see down here will be built like this, but I tell you, it really creates a really neat outdoor space underneath these, these houses. And when they're finished like this one is, and they're really finished out nice, you get a really beautiful outdoor space underneath the house. You know, of course you have parking for your cars. Um, you have areas to do things. I see a lot of these places set up kind of like a tiki hut underneath with outdoor kitchens and that kind of thing. Really pretty area. So as we go up here to go in the house, um, it does appear like this house is for sale. Uh, I looked up the Zillow estimate on it and that was 1.4, but we'll look on um, Schmidt Realty's website and see what the uh, selling price uh, of the house is. This house um, 
rents for $2,500 a week. Sorry about the lighting, guys. A lot of these houses don't have the lights and things on. I'll try to get around here where you can see better. Um, and we're not worried about the lighting and trying to get these videos just perfect. We just want to give you an idea of what things look like. This is a beautiful home. Looks like it is for sale. $2,500 a week vacation rental. And uh, I think it's valued somewhere around, somewhere close to a million and a half dollars. And this is a really nice living room, a big family kitchen table, a dining room table, nice kitchen in there, breakfast bar. And the most important thing ever, <laughs> well, besides the outdoor, the, the other outdoor, where you sit in the evenings and enjoy yeah. That first space from your screened-in porch. Very nice. Now overlooking the pool, beautiful view. Really nice. Very. A little bedroom here with a queen and a futon. Bath. We're trying our best not to um, trying our best not to mess too much with the electrical in the houses and turn the lights on and that kind of thing because these are all owned and vacation rented and obviously right now are vacant. There's your view out from this bedroom. Another pretty bedroom here. Very large bedroom. Oh, this is nice. Counter to get ready. Yeah. Dressing bed. Sink and bathroom in here and a pretty shower in here. Very pretty. Yeah. You can go out this side or the front. So this would be the master. I would think so. Yeah. Very nice. So again, guys, quick walkthrough. Like I said, we're not going to show you every detail of the house. We just want to give you a general idea. Again, this house was a three bedroom, two bath. Uh, rents for $2,500 a week. Very, very clean. Very nice. Um, these rental homes that you go into, uh, most of them, you always want to check, but most of them always will have your basics that you need. Pots and pans, basic silverware and dinnerware and things like that. Um, basically everything you need to come in and have a nice stay without having to go out and buy a bunch of stuff. Um, you know, So definitely a lot different than your hotel stay or, or uh, even some condo stays. Most of these places are fully equipped to live here. And the homeowner may live here half the year and just rent it the other half the year. So that's how most of these work. Did you mention how close it was to Sunset Park? I did. Yeah, Sunset Park. You can walk right down there. It's just, I don't know, a house down or so. Mm -hmm. And that's where we went and saw the uh, Sunset Celebration one night. And they have a sing-along every night when it's not coronavirus time. And we really enjoyed that. So people get together and you make new friends and get to meet people in this little community. So I just want to give a shout out to Barbara McKee and uh, her team there at Schmidt uh, Realty, Colwell Banker here in Marathon for um, allowing us to come out to the houses and share this with you guys. Barbara, thanks so much. I uh, hope I can send some business your way somehow. But uh, we really enjoyed that. And uh, we have actually, I've rented from Barbara for, I don't know, going on a decade now, every summer when we'd get off uh, from our teaching jobs in the summertime, come down to the Keys and, and Barbara would be my call to get our place down here. So you guys make sure uh, you hit Barbara up. I'll put all of her information uh, in the description and you guys give her a call. She can definitely help you out with a great rental here in the Keys. She always does a fantastic job, always uh, very organized and I've never had any problems with any of the rentals that I've done through Barbara here. So that's the reason I stick with her.
Well, one of the first things we always check out every place we look at, guys, is the outdoor space. Um, in our opinion, the outdoor space is the most important thing. As long as you got a clean place and a comfortable bed to sleep in, uh, down here in the Keys, it's the outdoor space that makes the vacation happen. And uh, so we check that first thing when we come in. So we're outside of this one now. Let me show you around out here. This is a pretty, pretty little setting. Look at that, right off the back porch. Lots of yard space out here for activities. Good dock out there. I don't think you'd have any problem keeping a whatever size boat you want. One thing I mentioned earlier, if you look behind me there, let me flip my screen around so I can see, make sure you can see it. Yeah, if you look, these type docks on canals, when you're on a canal uh, versus being out on the ocean side like this, but when you're on a canal, normally you have the depth you need to keep a larger boat. If you see a vacation rental um, advertised that has a dock like this where you're sitting ocean side or gulf side, you always want to make sure you ask the water depth at the dock and the approach to the dock uh, if you're bringing a boat because a lot of times on a low tide docks like this may not be deep enough to get your boat in there or in the middle of the night you tie up you know you tied up just before dark and next thing you know low tide happens in the middle of the night and your boat's sitting out there on dry ground or the motor's stuck in the mud so uh, that's one thing to pay close attention to. I don't know what the water depth here is and judging by the size of that boat right over there in the water and the boats down through here, I would assume you wouldn't have any problem uh, docking a, you know, a 30 footer in here. But nice outdoor space on this. Even got a little jacuzzi over there in the corner. All right, this is a cool outfit because you've got a game room that's indoors, but it's still looking over the pool. You can play poker, play pool, um, have drinks over here at the table, bait freezer, very important. Yep. Um, don't know what that garage goes to, but I think this is a cool area for the kids to hang out and just do their thing. Even got a, even got a set of bikes yeah. with the all important drink carrier. <laughs> <laughs> Red Solo Cup drink holder. I need one of those for my bike. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so before we go inside this unit, let me give you the details on it. It is a four bedroom, four bath. It is Oceanside. Um, let's see, I take that back. It is Gulfside, and it looks right out. You can see over the fence back there, it looks right out over the bay. Hold my camera up nice and high. Back there behind the pool, you're looking right over the Gulf side. Uh, this one rents for how much, babe? $3,500 a week and it can hold a maximum of 10 people. Maximum of 10 people at this house. So let's go inside and take a look. Zillow estimate on this house, by the way, uh, sale price was uh, $1.5 million. Irish, Scottish? Irish. Irish. Oh, go ahead. Right. Pretty open. Everything looks right out over the water. bedroom nice walk-in shower oh, I love that glass wall yeah that's, that's pretty. pretty very pretty this bedroom looks out over the water too see oh there's me there's you 
Hey, this, I don't know, this might be the master. Yeah, king size bed, probably is. Um, really pretty view from here. Yeah, mm -hmm. old dressing area, big bathroom. That bathroom, but then this bathroom is even bigger. Oh, and it does have double doors, so you can go from, oh, look at this tub. Super cool. Oh, wow. wow. Like that tub. It's not a tub. Well, it's shower. shower. You're right. Really, I guess it's not a tub. Now that is a unique shower. <laughs> you can get, put like two inches of water in it, maybe. <laughs> Just, and your bidet. Bidet. Your bidet. Let's see. So that goes into this bedroom as well, which I guess would really be a secondary bedroom since the uh, master has the nice view yeah. on the other side. Yeah, I'd say so. Mm -hmm. Still very comfortable. Very. Nice. So I think this one would be, you know, real comfortable with uh, two couples with children, something like that. I think it would work out real good. Got a pool, got everything you need here. Pretty place. I like this. Well, here's one of those features, guys, I was telling you about before. So if you bring your boat down here and you've got a trailer, if you look next to this house, it has dedicated uh, extra cars or trailer parking right there. It's really important that you ask your rental agent that because I'm telling you, if you think you can come down here and get a vacation place in the Keys and bring a boat and forget to ask where am I going to keep my trailer, uh, you're going to mess up because I'm telling you, You'll spend, there are places in town that you can uh, park your boat trailers. Uh, they'll charge you a pretty penny to be there. You'll be shocked. So uh, make sure you always ask. See the driveways on this side. There's plenty of room for at least two or three cars over there. And then on this other side, you got plenty of room for a trailer or more cars. So real important thing to, to look at when you're looking at these uh, vacation rentals down here, if you're bringing a, a boat and a trailer. Well, as luck would have it, the next house we're going to show is directly next house, uh, next door to the one that we, we just showed you. So these two houses are sitting side by side. Uh, Barbara McKee handles the rentals on both these units. And we're going to take you inside this one and take a look. Uh, let's go take a look at the back side first. Like I said, I always like that, that piece the best. And this one does have parking for a trailer over on that side over there. So if you're a golfer, I think you're going to like this one. That's her little putt putt course. Yep, so we got the hot tub. Putt putt. Pool looking out over the golf. I think it's a baby pool too. It's just deep enough for little ones to play which is nice. Another putt-putt green on the other side. So you got your dock and your fish cleaning station back here behind me. Um, that dock looks like it would probably hold a 30-footer, no problem. Anything smaller than uh, probably about 30 feet. You might get a little bit bigger boat in there. We have a nice porch for outdoor eating and entertaining. Adult beverages in the afternoon. Very cool. Oh, it has a whole downstairs living area. Wow, the kitchen, dining room. Oh. Cool table. They put all their little cards and souvenir things in there. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. That's a really big mirror closet. Oh, storage. Okay. Just check it. Didn't know. Let's go see. Oh, that's a pretty up. 
So guys, this house is uh, valued on Zillow at about $1.9 million. Uh, it rents, it is a four bedroom, four bath, and it rents for $3,800 a week uh, through Barbara McKee. Let's take a look around here. So you have a bedroom with access to the outdoor porch. Yeah, that's right nice. here, and its own bathroom and walk-in closet. I really, really like the way the living space is downstairs in this house and the bedrooms. You got a couple bedrooms down here. I'm assuming there's going to be two more upstairs, but it's really a nice feature that the main living space and the main activity space the kitchen and the living room walks right out to the pool so you're not climbing upstairs every time you want to go in the house um, and that's kind of a rare thing here in the keys actually because most of the houses are stilt homes built up high and you have to walk up a flight of stairs you know just to go inside and get yourself a, a drink so um, this is a pretty nice feature on this house i like that a lot Another bedroom with access to the porch right off of it and a bathroom back there. Small bathroom, but very useful. Yeah. Because nice. probably only the people who stay in this bedroom will use it. Okay. So when we come up here, we have a bathroom for this bedroom. King size bed. Mm-hmm. Bathroom. Oh, I bet it overlooks the oh, its own private balcony. Nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. interesting little oh, wow. cubby. Oh, another bedroom. Yeah. How cute is Queen that? Queen size bed in here. It's just like a little alcove room. That's yeah. kind of interesting. That is. With its own balcony. Bigger balcony here. Yeah. And wow. there's a another extra bedroom. Wow. Hidden down here in the hole with two beds in it. And bathroom with a nice shower. So this was a four four? Mm-hmm. So we've just One, covered two, the bedrooms. Three, two four, bedrooms. and then two downstairs. The occupancy on this house was 10 though, right? Yeah. There were. This is a really interesting two. house, guys. This one would be awesome for families. Um, it's got, it's listed as a four, four, but the two upstairs bedrooms actually have a main bedroom and then each one has a little, like a little kid's room, like a little alcove room off of it. So it'd be perfect for two families mm -hmm. to stay just here. But there's, there's technically six bedrooms in this house. Uh, two of those bedrooms would be kids' bedrooms, but wow, very neat. Guys, I'm gonna put a number in each of the videos. It'll start with MA, so like MA695, MA720. That's Barbara McKee's reference numbers for the properties that she handles down here. And I'm gonna put that maybe in the corner of each video so you can, uh, if you see a house in the video that you really like, um, you can call Barbara and actually reference that exact house if you want to. We'll probably tell you what our favorite house was when we get done with this, <laughs> this review. We'll tell you what our very favorite one of all of them was. So here we're at a house that is a three bedroom, two bath. It is $2,300 a week and it goes for $769,000 on Zillow. Yeah. or estimated yeah. so I like this wide driveway lots of space um, sure you could put a boat trailer on one side and park the cars up in the 
carport here. Hey guys, we're right behind the airport, so sorry for the helicopter noise. There's nothing we can do about it. True. But we and live on the other side of the airport, and it really is not bad. I mean, you just get used to it. Oh, this is a really pretty pool. It's a pretty pool. Very pretty. Oh, I like this one. Put your lounge chairs right here. You sit yeah. in the pool in your loungers, and the kids can swim, or you can swim with float. Yeah, that's nice. It's like, lots of space for. Space yep. here. Yeah, you could get a you could get a 30 footer in here. Plenty of space for trailer parking here. Uh, lots of outdoor space, and then looks like this is just a bar over here behind us. I think. So. I Maybe think. Put this around. Like, yeah, it looks like a area just to set up your food, that kind of thing. They've got a sink outside over here. Table. No rot none. Yep. Alright. So I think we should check out the Pretty pool. Fairly nice outside area. Not the nicest we've seen, but definitely adequate. It would make for a good vacation, that's for sure. Good boating access. Real good boating access. Very nice porch overlooking the water. Yeah. Cozy living room space to watch your TV. Good sized kitchen for prepping meals. And what did we say this house? Yeah, how much was this per week? This was twenty three hundred per week. It's a three two. And the peeps on it looks like six peeps. Six people. Mm -hmm. Bedroom here. Nice bedroom. Yeah. And bathroom for everybody to share. The kids' bunk room. Four kids. Yeah, I got bunks on both sides. Slumber party. And actually, that's twin size. I mean, a full size bunk. Yeah. So, then we've got the master bath with the big jacuzzi tub. Nice Very shower nice. in here, stand up shower. And the master bedroom with your own private balcony. Looks like a good size closet there. That's a really nice view looking out over the water, isn't it? Yep. So this one is a little smaller uh, than the last few that we've looked at. But I tell you what, it's a good setup. Uh, two couples with two to four kids. What was, how many people could be in here, did you say? Seven? No, wait, I think that says eight. Eight people eight total? People. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so two couples with, uh, you know, two kids a piece. Be comfortable for that because you got the kids' rooms with the bunk beds. Nice, clean place. Very pretty. All of Barbara's places seem to be very clean, very well kept, very well managed. Now out behind me out there, this goes directly out to the bay side or the Gulf side. So you're in the Gulf of Mexico on this side. So you'd actually have to run down, cross under uh, either the Seven Mile Bridge or go through Vaca Cut through Marathon to get out to the ocean side. So if you're doing any ocean fishing, um, a place like this on this side on the Gulf, you're gonna have a little bit further of a run to get back around and get out to the ocean. But it's not too bad. It's, it's only 10 minutes or so, I would say. This house is a 3-2 and it is 2,900 a week. You can have eight people stay here and Zillow values it at a million dollars. 
make those really. with, um, what's that? Ping pong table. Ping pong table, yeah. yeah. Looks like they've got an outside TV here. Yeah. Nice outdoor furniture. Cornhole boards. Yeah. Nice pool. Sitting out by the paddle boards. Yeah. Nice. Lounging area. Guys, this is real typical of a lot of the houses down here in the Keys. You'll be on these canals like this, and of course you'll have neighbors right next to you, neighbors right across the canal from you. And, uh, you know, it's kind of tight quarters, but it's, it's also a real fun atmosphere. As you can see, folks get out here and they party it up a little bit and play some tunes and hang out. This is, this is really one of the things that's really fun about the Keys is everybody's kind of in the same spirit down here. And uh, this place... This place is very similar to a lot of places that we've stayed a lot of times down here in the Keys. Cool little unit. Outdoor seating with a view. Great view of the ocean. So yeah, it is coronavirus time and we are quarantined, but this is how folks quarantine in the Keys. It doesn't suck. <laughs> Those like Vespas or something. Yeah. That's cool. This one even comes with some perks. Paddleboards, scooters, bicycles. Pretty neat. Fun rental. Oh, it feels good in here. Oh, love when Air conditioner. Air on it. Yeah. So this little bedroom opens right up to the porch that you just saw. So, um, this little bedroom doesn't have a whole lot of privacy. No. But it is a place to sleep. It'd work. It'd work. Place to sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. Come into the upstairs living area that has. There we go. We yes. have now with the back porch. That's where we just were that we couldn't get in. She could eat out there. Pretty view out over the water. Very nice view out over the water. You are taking the van. Very nice. Small but functional kitchen. No trouble accessing your laundry, that's for sure. <laughs> no, you can cook dinner and do your laundry at the same time. Kind of like that, though, because you'll do a lot of towels down here. Yeah. Nice little bed with what kind of view? Street view. Street view. Oh, you're right, street view. That's fine. We just keep those close. Nice bathroom. Yep. Yeah. Let's check out this bedroom. It's like bunkies. Double bunks, double bed, so you can definitely fit two, four, six, eight people in this house. And that is what they said here. I'm pretty sure. Look at my list. This list is really long. I think it's eight people. Okay. Oh, oh, say it's not so. How do you how do you work these things? This is just a roll-up shape. There we go. Look at this coolness. Rooftop. Rooftop with a fire pit. Oh wow. <laughs> this is nice, guys. Really got your ocean view now. <laughs> Real nice spot. Very nice. Oh, watch football games. Yeah. Or movies. Master bedrooms up here. Nice big master bedroom. Yeah. Pretty. Goes out to the porch as well. Let's see, the bathroom. 
some modern sinks here. Walk-in shower, very pretty. This kind of has uh, the decor of this house reminds me a lot of stuff in Miami where we stayed in the hotels. Oh yes, it yeah, does. Kinda the national Miami vibe to it. So that's a really nice place, very modern. Um, if you kind of like the modern clean lines look, this is it. Um, Laurie and I tend to like a place that has a lot of palm trees and a beautiful pool outdoor space with a lot of foliage and things like that. More of a peaky jungly feel, I guess you could say. So this is not really our style, but I tell you what, it's a very, very nice clean place and uh, would make a good vacation rental for somebody for sure. Let's move on to our next one. Well, our next house is in the Sombrero Beach area, and uh, we're actually right across the street from the Marathon High School. You can see it back there behind me, and directly across the street is the unit we're going to take a look at next. So let's go see the outside. Yep. Very pretty. Yeah. This is finished nicely. With a grill and a bake freezer. Outdoor seating. Or, yeah, dining. Outdoor dining. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah. Very nice pool. It's got plenty of dock space. This one's got plenty of room for two boats. Actually, one on the lift that's already there, but you could get, oh, another 25 to 28 footer, I think, behind it here on the dock. The 20, All right, guys, we're giving up on that one. We got a funny feeling. There was a tackle box, rod and reels out back, and there's a pair of shoes by the front door. I got a funny feeling this one's not vacant. Yeah. So we're uh, you got to see the outside. This was a two bedroom, two bath. Mm -hmm. Four maximum four people. For four seven, people. Seventeen hundred a week. Seventeen hundred a week. So at least you get to see the outside. Sorry about that, but we don't want to take a chance going in if there's somebody here. So uh, we're going to skip this one and move on to our next one. Okay. We're on Sombrero Beach Road, and it's one of my favorite places because you can go right down the road walking or on your bike and go to Sombrero Beach, one of the few beaches in the Keys. But we are here at this house, which is a 2-2, and you can have six people in here as your max capacity, and it is 2000 a week. So, Not bad. very affordable. Um, let's go see the outdoor pool side. Boat trailer? No, maybe not boat trailer parking. No, no. There's plenty of parking here, though. Yeah, really, there is. You can park the parking trailer here. I don't know how to work this. Oh, that's a Pretty little pool. Sunbathing. Sitting out here having lunch. Enjoying the company. It's a nice deep pool too. You can tread water for exercise. Maybe even swim a lap or two back and forth. Oh, I think they have little LED lights for the yeah. Pretty. dock walk. Very nice dock. Mm-hmm. Like all the bushes. All the green I mean. So are these the spring line your boat? Yeah. That keeps your boat from bumping into the dock. Okay. So they do have a nice lift, but like we said, you probably Yeah. More than likely wouldn't be able to use it with your boat. Yeah. They do have a fish cleaning table. So pretty good 
pretty good dock space here guys you could get a 30 footer in here it does have a lift behind us and like i mentioned before you probably probably can't use the lift but you've got your fish cleaning station down at the end down there and uh nice dock space here here's a view of the back of the house very pretty nice clean neat place porch upstairs is screened in. Hey, one of the things you really like down here is having a bathroom for your pool. So you walk from your pool right here to the bathroom. You don't track through the house with wet feet, bathing suits and all. And you have a nice little bathroom to take care of those kind of needs. Yeah. Got your bait freezer right there. Nice setup down here. Okay. Yeah. Somebody cooking over here. Like my wonderful husband loves to cook all the time and for him to be able to cook on the stove and talk to everybody while he's cooking. Oh yeah. That's and always I love a that plus. stove on that island. That is right up my alley right there. That is perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Oh, it's a pretty, pretty place. The really nice porch out here. Very relaxing. Look, and you can see the ocean on the other side. Yeah, sure can. Great. Bathroom. Totally adequate. Bedroom. Let's see what this view is. Oh, it's the neighbor's house. Okay, that's good. Yeah. But that's okay. You can still open it up and get some light, which yeah. is nice. The place is exceptionally clean. Yeah. They all are clean, but this one is really, really it's fresh. Really, very clean. This must be your master. Nice walk-in closet. Road view. Street view. Street view. <laughs> Um, but I like view of the bushes and the neighbors. Nice garden tub and a stand up shower. Yeah. yeah. And double vanities. I like that. Yep. Very nice. So this was just a 2 2, right? This is a 2 2 with a maximum of six. six people. Yeah, I think so. So there's probably a sleeper sofa in the Must be. living room. Yeah, I bet that's a sleeper sofa. Yeah, that's probably a sleeper sofa mm -hmm. there. Yeah, nice place. How much was the rental on this? I am confused. There's been so many places. Um, two thousand a week. Two thousand a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two thousand a week. That's. Yeah. What a deal. That was pretty cheap compared yeah. to all the others. That really says 2,000 a week and six people, two, two. Yeah, cool. All right, guys. So this is our last house on our list. And uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up right here. We hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you learn a thing or two. Maybe uh, somehow this helps you if you wanna come down here on vacation. So uh, do us a favor and subscribe our channel if you would. And uh, hit that like button. That helps us a lot. And we hope you've enjoyed this. And we'll see you next time on Gables on the Go. Hey, let me make a PS on that. Oh, yeah. We rented um, the same house every time for several years coming down here. And now that we've been out here looking at all these houses, I would totally try a new one each year just because of the variety you get of different places and all. So yeah. don't be afraid to venture out and get some variety in your life. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.